I'm sure we all know of a baby who had jaundice a couple of days after he or she was born. There are lots of reasons why a baby can get jaundice. Now, when we say jaundice, that's a yellow discoloration of the eyes and then the skin. So, in this video, we are going to talk about one, just one reason why a baby can get joined us because we are in the month of yellow. If you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. This is Time with Dr. Adam. Time with Dr. Adams. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. My name is Dr. Saki. You can call me Dr. Adams. Uh, this month we are creating awareness for neonatal jaundice and I was supposed to wear yellow but I wasn't prepared for this video. So please, my chair is yellow. <laughs> my chair is yellow. My background is yellow. My sanitizer is yellow. So please, bosses, I have yellow something in here. All right. So this is the month of creating awareness for neonatal jaundice. This video, I'm going to tell you one reason why a baby can get yellow, and that is what we call gene 6 PD, glucose 6 phosphate deficiency. Gene 6 PD. It's an enzyme. Everyone is supposed to have this enzyme, but some people do not have this enzyme because it's an inherited blood disorder. So, what does this gene 6 PD do? That's a glucose 6 phosphate. This enzyme is supposed to protect our red blood cells against oxidative substances. So, for people that we say have this inherited disorder, it means either they have just some part of the enzyme or do they do not have at all so their red blood cells are unprotected now when i say it's an inherited disorder it means you get it from your mother and your father however it's the x chromosome that carries it so remember females have two x chromosomes so if i inherit it from um, the x chromosome coming from my mother or my father if i inherit one one then i might be full defect however i can inherit just one X chromosome that is carrying it, but for the men, they just have one X chromosome, they have X and Y chromosome, just one. So, if their X is affected, it means they have full defect. Now, how does this GCSPD uh, manifest? You need to tell John this. Your baby, you give birth to a baby, or you hear that your neighbor, a family friend, a colleague has given birth. Two or three days later, the baby became yellow and people start asking questions hey, dear, dear, you know, are you giving enough breast, breast milk are you doing this in the hospital please come to the hospital do not stay at home and listen to people man you say there's no enough breast milk that's why the baby is yellow give water give mashke <laughs> Yes, at least someone was giving their baby mashke. Give mashke, uh, morikoko, what do you son, son of a man? No, 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 don't stay at home. You need to join this. Baby can be saved. It, it is not a death sentence. Just come. All we are asking you is come see us. So when you come, we'll run a couple of tests. Of course, we'll ask you questions whether you are feeding baby enough breast milk because that can also bring about this. However, we'll run some tests. And one of the tests that we'll run is the GCSPD test. Some hospitals, it's a protocol. Immediately you give birth, you check if baby has GCSP or not. But in some hospitals, it's not a protocol. So if your baby is joining this and you bring baby to me, I will check if baby has GCSP. And if baby has GCSP, and your coco cry, we'll put baby under uh, uh, phototherapy. It's a light. We'll put baby there. If there's any other thing we need to do for baby, I will give baby. Eh? Don't stay at home because the longer you stay at home, the worse it gets. The jaundice can ride up into the brain and cause what we call kernicteros, and that will damage the baby's brain. All we need to know say immediately you see the baby's eyes are getting the white part is getting um, yellow. Palms, skin, under the feet is getting fresh and come to us. We are ever ready to help you. So, um, apart from neonatal jaundice, I'm, I'm hitting on this neonatal jaundice because this month is uh, an awareness month. We are creating awareness for neonatal jaundice. That's people who work with kids. And I work in a pediatric hospital. That is why we are making or uh, creating awareness. No baby must die out of neonatal jaundice, no. And as babies grow, someone will ask, will my baby be fine if baby has neonatal, um, sorry, G6 speed? Of course, there are some things you just need to stay away from. The baby will live a 
perfect life. Some of these things are medications and foods. When it comes to medications, babies or children who have GCSPD or adults, anyone who has GCSPD, are supposed to, these people are supposed to stay away from things that contain sulfur, cotrimazole, some malaria medications. So we usually tell them that if your child has GCSPD, don't buy over-the-counter drug. Bring the child to the hospital. Because maybe you will go and buy the medicine. You will not read the label. And maybe the medication might contain what your child doesn't like. These GCSPD babies or um, people, they do not like some medications. You might not know. That is why we are telling you to bring the child to us. Stay away from always buying medications just like that. Someone recommends then you buy. Someone recommends then you buy. It is not the best. And then we have foods. Foods such as favor, uh, favor beans. When I was uh, working in the village, we used to tell them that um, just know that your baby can take some kind of beans. But because I cannot go to the village, uh, sorry, I cannot go to the market with you to look for that favor beans. I usually used to tell them, stay away from beans. We have blueberries, we have some forms of legumes, uh, menthol, even mouthwash, um, yes, um, camphor, camphor. There will be a child that is usually getting sick. The child is always getting malaria symptoms. The child is always drawn this. You've checked that there's no sickling. However, the child usually gets sick. And then you'll be asking questions and you realize that the mother always puts comfort at places. The, the cupboards, no, the mother has comfort. Uh, in the kitchen, the mother has comfort. So when they come into contact with these things, they will not get sick the same day. It's a buildup of things. Then the red blood cells will start breaking down and very soon the child will get sick and start getting all this yellowish discoloration. Now, how do we diagnose Jesus' spirit? It's a test. Very simple test. You come to the hospital, we'll do that test for you so that you know. It's for life. It's an inherited disorder. It will never go away. It's something you live with. You just manage it. If you stay away from these foods that I've mentioned, if you stay away from some of the medications, you don't buy over the counter medication, dear mothers, anytime you come to the hospital, be sure to tell your doctor that my child has GCSPD. In some hospitals, we make small cards for them. Um, I, I do not have one here, but we make small cards for them. We write their names and write GCSPD. Behind the card, we write the medications they cannot take. So that anytime they go to the hospital, especially in the villages, they will not remember. Anytime they go to the hospital, they show it to the doctor. And if those, if you can remember, for excuse me to say the indicator, but if you can remember, anytime you step into a doctor's office, remember to tell the doctor that my child has G6PD. They might ask you, um, uh, is it full defect or partial defect? If you know, you can tell them. If not, but just make sure you tell them. I, I, I want to repeat, your child can live a perfect life. A perfect life so far as they stay away from some of these medications I've uh, mentioned. It's I, I mentioned Clotrimazole and some malaria medications. Please, there are a lot of them. When you Google it, you find uh, some of these medications. And then the, uh, the foods as well. You can Google it and become familiar with it. But please, I just want to tell you that if you have a baby and the baby is drawn this don't stay at home. Come to us. Let's find out if it's Jesus speedy really, and let's save your child. One more thing. It's very important. Everyone knows their uh, Jesus speedy really status because maybe you, you, you might be going through some ailment and they've tried to find out and they don't know. Probably you are coming into contact with things that you are not supposed to come into contact with. And most especially pregnant women. Pregnant women can have miscarriage if they take malaria medication that contains sulfur. Remember, GCSPD patients cannot take sulfur medications. So it's important as a pregnant woman that you do not immediately think you have uh, malaria. You go to the pharmacy, buy over the counter uh, drugs and take. No, go to the hospital, tell the doctor I have GCSPD. We will not give you the anti-malaria that contains sulfur. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If there's any topic you want me to cover, let me know. This was time with Dr. Adams. Please, let's be kind to each other. And remember, still, yes, so well. bye. Time with Dr. Adams.